So I think right now, focusing on posterior segment, a lot of the trials are focused on gene therapies, really looking at innovative ways to treat disease states, as well as looking you know, towards dry AMD and geographic atrophy. I think there's a big push towards studies heading in that direction right now. There's no one perfect answer, and I think a lot of sponsors are open to innovation and opportunities there. Sponsors often look for a CRO partner that can be flexible and think outside the box, especially related to problem solving. So a lot of our sponsors are working on phase one, phase two studies, and we need to be able to change quickly during the, the trial, go in a new direction. If it's not enrolling how we thought it was going to enroll, we have to look for other ways to bring patients in. Sometimes uh, we'll have a supply shortage, so we have to quickly pivot and head in a new direction. So they want a partner that is able to be flexible while problem solving to get to a new solution. One of the most interesting trends I've seen recently is the, this push to have new endpoints, so novel endpoints that could be using digital analysis to measure corneal lesions or something that's across all the eye. So I focus on front of the eye, but I've also seen things related to OCT and retinal imaging that's really coming up, and potentially some functional things such as contrast sensitivity that I'm really excited about, our sponsor is excited about, and I'd like to see more of that. In the clinical trial space, it's around optimizing workflow, specifically at the research center. So many companies are out there touting new technologies, and many companies are out there looking at how they can improve the workflow from when a patient is thought about to when a patient actually participates in a clinical trial. That itself is creating a level of complexity and an amazing level of opportunity for us. The other is how we can actually take the clinical trial to the patient participant. So specifically hybrid trials, decentralized trials, and there's some great work that's being done in that area, bringing the endpoint assessments directly to the patient's door or using virtual reality or different software systems to be able to capture the endpoints that are needed for the trial. The last thing that I think that's affecting and kind of some of the other interesting macro trends that I'm personally following is the use of real world data. And so our ability to use real world data to address either as a surrogate endpoint or as potentially even an entire arm in a clinical trial. So those are some of the things that I'm watching. I think some of the, the trends that we're seeing in ophthalmology trials is just looking at novel endpoints for these therapies that we're evaluating. A great example is even in geographic atrophy and how we're looking at function and the real impact to patients. And some of those endpoints that I think we'll see in future clinical trials probably don't even exist yet. And so there's a lot of great research and innovation happening there. And also just the delivery mechanism and durability for products. I think um, gene therapy, cell therapy has a ton of promise and there's a lot of those trials ongoing and have a lot of opportunity for patients as we see those evolve.